Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We are glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is Psalm 23. We will return to our devotion after a brief message from one of our sponsors. On Florida's Space Coast, we think you can have the best of both worlds. Kind of like right now. Driving at your desk. Maybe at the gym. But you're also grooving to some music. Visit us and you'll go to the beach. And see a rocket launch. Or go kayaking and manatee spotting. It's all waiting for you on the only beach that doubles as a launch pad. Plan your adventure today at visitspacecoast.com. Do you sometimes doubt if you're truly hearing God's voice or if it's really your own? Or have you been in a season where it feels like He has been completely silent? Have you been praying for a way to learn how to hear His voice more clearly? Hey friends, I'm Rachel, host of the Hearing Jesus podcast. If you are ready to grow in your faith, and to confidently step into your identity in Christ, then join me as we dig deep into God's Word so you can learn to live out your faith in your everyday life. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Hearing Jesus on your favorite podcast app. You Have Everything You Need Written and read by Kyle Norman God, my shepherd, I don't need a thing. Psalm 23, verse 1, The Message When I was a boy, I could never understand Psalm 23. The opening verse, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, made no sense to me. I couldn't understand why we didn't want the Lord. Why were we praying about a shepherd that we reject? I'm embarrassed to admit how many years later it took me to learn what this verse means. Want in the context of Psalm 23, speaks not of desire, but of need. Being, quote, in want, describes insufficiency, a recognition that our lives do not contain the necessary resources to survive. Thus, David recognizes that there is no insufficiency in his life with the Lord. With the Lord as his shepherd, David has everything he needs. In fact, Every line and image of this psalm communicates this fundamental truth. David writes, He makes me lie down in green pastures. Has it ever occurred to you that the lamb is lying down in his or her dinner? Lush pastures are a smorgasbord for hungry sheep. Sheep don't lie down in pastures. They graze. They feast. They fill up their hungry stomachs with the nourishment they need. That is, unless they are satisfied. If the sheep is satisfied and fully satiated, then the sheep will lie down. They do so because they don't need to feed. The Lord has provided all that they need. In a similar fashion, the sheep only walks beside the quiet waters, which were cool and refreshing. David writes that the shepherd leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul. Instead of drinking waters in deeply to quench an inner thirst, David describes his life as walking beside the waters. Isaiah will later echo this sentiment, Come, all who are thirsty, come to the waters. Isaiah 55 verse 1, David need not come to the waters, only beside them. Why? Because he is no longer thirsty. David has found the fount of living water, the water that will refresh and restore his thirsty soul. David has everything he needs. Of course, such sentiments are easy to make when everything is ideal and blissful. When life is filled with satisfaction and tranquility, it's easy to say that we lack no good thing. But what about when life turns dark? What about when the pathways that the Lord leads us upon enter valleys of the shadow of death, what then is our response? For David, his response is the same. Even in this place of darkness and struggle, where he feels the threat of death and the imposing onslaught of enemies, 
David still affirms the Lord's goodness upon him. He says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The darkened valley bears no threat for David. Why? Because he has everything he needs to walk through this plight. Charles Spurgeon once wrote, The shadow of a dog cannot bite, the shadow of a sword cannot kill, and the shadow of death cannot destroy us. Let us not, therefore, be afraid. For David, and for us, the truth is clear. Death holds no power. It has no victory or sting. The Lord is present. The Good Shepherd is incarnate in our lives. The Lord does not stand removed from troublesome places. He remains with us. Even if we are surrounded by enemies dark and threatening, we are protected by the Lord's presence. He spreads a tent of protection over us where no evil can conquer. He nourishes us in safety and anoints us with abundant healing. Yes, we may feel their taunts, and at times the enemies of our soul may seem threatening upon us. But we need not fear. We have everything that we need. Intersecting Faith and Life Psalm 23 is most often read at funerals. Its depiction of the shadow of death and the assurance that we shall, quote, dwell in the house of the Lord forever, makes it a fitting reading for these occasions. Yet the psalm is not about death at all. David does not write this poem about his life beyond the grave. Rather, he writes this psalm as a reflection about his life with the Lord and the assurance he has in God's eternal presence. The shepherd of our souls does not stand in eternity waiting for us to arrive after life's journey. The Lord comes to us and walks with us through whatever terrain we find ourselves in. Whether we walk in the lush and blissful pastures of ease or struggle through the dark valleys of discouragement and discontent, the Lord's presence is the same. Let the words of the psalm wash over you. Allow its truth to sink deep within Psalm 23 is an assurance for your Christian life today. It speaks of God's provision, protection, and presence over you. Whatever provision you may need to meet the challenges or opportunities that lie before you, they are provided. As followers of Jesus, the shepherd is with you. There is nothing you lack. You have everything you need. For further reading, read Psalm 23. Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 7 or three new ways to think about Psalm 23 on crosswalk.com The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. On Florida's Space Coast, we think you can have the best of both worlds. Kind of like right now. Driving. At your desk. Maybe at the gym. But you're also grooving to some music. Visit us and you'll go to the beach and see a rocket launch or go kayaking and manatee spotting. It's all waiting for you on the only beach that doubles as a launch pad. Plan your adventure today at visitspacecoast.com.